What time is it? It's prayer time. Today we gather in the light of the divine to reflect upon the profound and transformative power of healing. In a world often marred by suffering and affliction, the promise of healing offers solace, hope, and redemption. Healing is not merely the mending of physical ailments, but the restoration of the spirit, the mind, and the heart. It is a journey of reconciliation, a sacred process that invites us to draw closer to the source of all healing, the Almighty. Throughout scripture, we witness countless examples of miraculous healing from the lepers cleansed by the touch of Jesus to the blind given sight and the lame made to walk. These stories remind us that healing is not bound by the limitations of the human condition, but flows forth from the boundless grace of God. Yet, healing is not solely the domain of divine intervention. It is also a call to action for each one of us. We are called to be instruments of healing in our communities, offering compassion, empathy, and support to those in need. Whether it be through a comfort word, a listening ear, or an act of kindness, we have the power to be channels of healing grace. But let us not forget that healing is not always immediate or tangible. It is a process that unfolds in its own time, often through perseverance, faith, and resilience. It requires us to trust in the unseen, to believe in the possibility of transformation even in the midst of despair. In times of illness, grief, or adversity, it can be easy to lose sight of the healing power that resides within each of us. Yet, even in our darkest moments, we are never alone. The divine presence surrounds us, offering comfort, strength, and healing balm to weary souls. Let us also acknowledge that healing comes in many forms. It may manifest as physical restoration, emotional peace, or spiritual renewal. Each person's journey of healing is unique, shaped by their experiences, struggles, and triumphs. Let us embrace the diversity of paths to healing, recognizing that God's love knows no bounds and extends to all who seek solace and comfort. Furthermore, let us be mindful of the power of forgiveness in the healing process. Holding on to grudges and resentments only perpetuates pain and suffering. As we extend grace and mercy to others, we open ourselves to receive the healing grace of God. Let us release the burdens of bitterness and anger, allowing the transformative power of forgiveness to work in our lives and relationships. Let us remember that the journey of healing is not always easy. There will be moments of doubt, fear, and uncertainty along the way, yet it is precisely in these moments that our faith is tested and strengthened. When we feel overwhelmed by the challenges before us, let us turn to prayer as our source of comfort and strength. Let us pour out our hearts before the Lord, trusting that He hears our cries and holds us in the palm of His hand. Let us also draw inspiration from the stories of resilience and perseverance found throughout Scripture. From the Israelites wandering in the wilderness to the disciples facing persecution, we see time and again that God is faithful to His promises and never abandons His children in their time of need. As we embark on our own journey of healing, let us do so with courage and determination, knowing that we do not walk alone. Let us lean on one another for support and encouragement, lifting each other up with love and compassion. Let us also remember to extend grace and understanding to ourselves. Too often we are our own harshest critics, quick to judge and condemn ourselves for our perceived shortcomings and failures. Let us release the burden of self-doubt and self-condemnation and instead embrace the truth of our worth and value in the eyes of our Creator. For we are fearfully and wonderfully made beloved children of God, deserving of love, acceptance, and grace. And as we journey towards healing, let us also remember to celebrate the small victories along the way, whether it be a moment of clarity in the midst of confusion, a glimmer of hope in the darkness of despair, or a step forward on the path to wholeness. Let us give thanks for the signs of healing grace at work in our lives. Let us create spaces where all are welcomed, where the brokenhearted find solace, and where the weary find rest. Let us listen with open hearts and minds, offering empathy and understanding to those who are hurting. Let us create an atmosphere of love and acceptance where all feel valued and cherished. Let us bear one another's burdens and share in each other's joys, knowing that we are stronger together than we could ever be apart. Let us be mindful of those who may feel marginalized or forgotten, reaching out with compassion and inclusion to all who we are getting in ready to pray. Grace. But before we begin, 
to pray, please do like comment and share this powerful message with everyone you know. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification button so you can be notified when we upload more powerful messages like this. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you today with hearts open to receive your healing touch. We acknowledge your power to mend the broken, to soothe the wounded, and to restore the weary. In your infinite wisdom and compassion, you have promised to be our healer, to bind up our wounds, and to bring wholeness to our brokenness. We humbly ask for your healing grace to flow into every area of our lives, our bodies, our minds, our spirits, and our relationships. Grant us the strength to persevere in the face of illness, the courage to confront our fears, and the faith to trust in your unfailing love. May your presence be a balm to our souls, bringing comfort in times of pain and hope in times of despair. We lift up to you all those who are in need of healing today, those who are sick, those who are grieving, those who are struggling with mental or emotional anguish. May your healing touch reach them wherever they are, bringing relief, restoration, and renewal. We also pray for those who care for the sick and the suffering, doctors, nurses, caregivers, and all who minister to the needs of others. Grant them wisdom, compassion, and strength as they offer comfort and care to those in need. And finally, Lord, we pray for a world in need of healing, a world torn apart by division, violence, and injustice. May your healing love bring reconciliation where there is conflict, peace where there is discord, and justice where there is oppression. We trust in your promise to make all things new, to bring beauty out of ashes, and to turn mourning into dancing. May we be witnesses to the power of your healing grace, shining brightly as beacons of hope and agents of your peace in a world in need of restoration. Father, we pray for those who are suffering from physical ailments that you would bring comfort to their bodies and strength to their spirits. May your healing power flow through them, bringing relief from pain and restoration of health. We pray for those who are struggling with mental or emotional distress, that you would bring peace to their minds and solace to their hearts. May your healing presence surround them, offering them hope and healing in the midst of their struggles. We pray for those who are brokenhearted and grieving, that you would bring comfort to their souls and light to their darkness. May your healing love embrace them, bringing healing and wholeness to their wounded spirits. Lord, we confess our need for healing in every area of our lives, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. We acknowledge our brokenness and our dependence on you to mend what is fractured and to restore what is lost. We lift up to you those who are in need of healing, both seen and unseen. We pray for those who are battling illness or disease, that you would bring strength to their bodies and peace to their minds. We pray for those who are facing mental or emotional struggles, that you would bring clarity to their thoughts and comfort to their hearts. We pray for those who are wounded by past hurts or traumas, that you would bring healing to their spirits and restoration to their souls. Lord, we know that your healing power knows no bounds and that nothing is impossible for you. We ask that you would work miracles of healing in our midst, bringing hope to the hopeless, light to the darkness, and life to the dead places within us. Help us to trust in your timing and to rest in your promises, knowing that you are always with us and that your plans for us are good. Give us the courage to surrender our fears and doubts to you and to walk in faith as we journey toward wholeness and restoration. Lord, we pray for those who are facing physical challenges and ailments, whether they are dealing with chronic illness, acute injury, or the effects of aging. We ask for your healing hand to bring relief and restoration. May your healing presence bring comfort to their bodies and strength to their spirits. We lift up to you those who are grappling with mental and emotional struggles. For those who are battling anxiety, depression, or other mental health issues, we ask for your peace that surpasses all understanding to guard their hearts and minds. Bring clarity to their thoughts and renewal to their spirits. Lord, we also pray for those who are in need of relational healing. For families torn apart by conflict, friendships strained by misunderstanding, or communities divided by strife, we ask for your healing touch to mend broken relationships and reconcile hearts. Help us to extend forgiveness, understanding, and compassion to one another. Father, we thank you for your promise of healing and restoration for all who call upon your name. We pray for physical healing for those who are suffering from illness, disease, or chronic pain. Lord, we ask for emotional healing for those who are struggling with trauma, grief, or depression. We lift up those who are facing mental health challenges, praying for clarity of mind and peace of spirit. Father, we pray for spiritual healing for those who are feeling disconnected from you or struggling with their faith. We pray for healing in relationships that have been broken or 
are strained by conflict, betrayal, or misunderstanding. Lord, we ask for healing in families that are struggling with division, dysfunction, or generational wounds. We pray for healing in marriages that are facing challenges, asking for reconciliation, forgiveness, and renewed love. Father, we lift up those who are battling addiction, praying for deliverance and freedom from the chains that bind them. We pray for healing in communities that are divided by prejudice, injustice, or violence, asking for reconciliation and unity. Lord, we ask for healing in nations that are torn apart by conflict, poverty, or corruption, praying for peace and prosperity for all people. We pray for healing in the natural world, asking for restoration and stewardship of the earth's resources. Father, we lift up those who are experiencing financial hardship, praying for provision and abundance in their lives. We pray for healing in workplaces that are marked by stress, injustice, or exploitation, asking for fairness and dignity for all workers. Lord, we ask for healing in schools and educational institutions that are struggling with violence, bullying, or academic challenges. We pray for healing in churches and religious communities that are divided or wounded, asking for unity and revival in the body of Christ. Father, we lift up those who are suffering from loneliness or isolation, praying for companionship and community in their lives. We pray for healing for those who have experienced trauma or abuse, asking for restoration and renewal of their hearts and minds. Lord, we ask for healing for those who are grieving the loss of loved ones, praying for comfort and peace in their time of sorrow. We pray for healing for those who are facing persecution or oppression because of their faith, asking for strength and courage to endure. Father, we lift up those who are struggling with infertility or reproductive health issues, praying for conception and the gift of children. We pray for healing for those who are experiencing homelessness or displacement, asking for shelter, provision, and restoration of dignity. Lord, we ask for healing for those who are facing legal challenges or injustices, praying for justice and mercy to prevail. We pray for healing for those who are struggling with addiction to technology or social media, asking for balance and healthy boundaries. Father, we lift up those who are battling spiritual oppression or demonic attacks, praying for deliverance and protection in the name of Jesus. We pray for healing for those who are experiencing physical disabilities or limitations, asking for strength, resilience, and accessibility. Lord, we ask for healing for those who are struggling with eating disorders or body image issues, praying for self-acceptance and inner peace. We pray for healing for those who are facing challenges in their academic or professional pursuits, asking for wisdom, guidance, and success. Father, we lift up those who are struggling with addictions to substances or behaviors, asking for freedom and restoration of wholeness. We pray for healing for those who are experiencing spiritual dryness or a sense of distance from you, asking for renewal and revival in their faith. Lord, we ask for healing for those who are facing challenges in their marriages or relationships, praying for reconciliation, forgiveness, and renewed love. We pray for for healing for those who are battling chronic illnesses or conditions, asking for relief from pain and symptoms and for strength to endure. Father, we lift up those who are struggling with infertility or miscarriages, asking for healing, comfort, and the gift of children. We pray for healing for those who are facing financial struggles or job loss, asking for provision, guidance, and opportunities for employment. Lord, we ask for healing for those who are experiencing emotional or psychological trauma, asking for peace, comfort, and rest restoration of mental health. We pray for healing for those who are facing challenges in their families or relationships, asking for reconciliation, forgiveness, and renewed love. We pray for healing for those who are facing spiritual oppression or attacks, asking for protection, strength, and victory in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare healing over every aspect of our lives, knowing that God is our healer and sustainer. According to Exodus 15, 26, we decree and declare healing over our bodies, declaring that by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. According to Isaiah 53, 5, we decree and declare healing over our minds, casting down every thought and imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. According to 2 Corinthians 10, 5, we decree and declare healing over our emotions, trusting in the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. According to Philippians 4, 7, we decree and declare healing over our relationships, believing in the power of love to overcome all obstacles. According to 1 Corinthians 13, 7, we decree and declare healing over our finances, trusting in God's provision and abundance. According to Philippians 4.19, we decree and declare healing over our communities, praying for reconciliation, unity, and restoration. According to Psalm 133.1, we 
we decree and declare healing over our nations, believing in the power of prayer to bring about transformation and revival. According to 2 Chronicles 714, we decree and declare healing over those who are sick or suffering, believing in the power of prayer to bring about miraculous interventions. According to James 515, we decree and declare healing over those who are bound by addiction or bondage, trusting in the freedom that comes through Christ. According to John 836, we decree and declare healing over those who are grieving or mourning, believing in the comfort and peace that comes from the Holy Spirit. According to Matthew 5, 4, we decree and declare healing over those who are facing spiritual warfare or attacks, knowing that greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. According to according to 1 John 4, 4, we decree and declare healing over those who are struggling with doubt or unbelief, praying for a fresh revelation of God's truth and faithfulness. According to Mark 9, 24, we decree and declare healing over over broken marriages and families, believing in the power of restoration and reconciliation. According to Joel 2.25, we decree and declare healing over prodigals and wayward souls, trusting in the faithfulness of God to bring them back into his loving embrace. According to Luke 15.20, we decree and declare healing over generational curses and patterns of dysfunction, declaring freedom and deliverance in the name of Jesus. According to Galatians 3.13, we decree and declare healing over mental illness and emotional trauma, believing in the power of the Holy Spirit to bring wholeness and renewal. According to Psalm 34, 17, we decree and declare healing over the wounds of racism, discrimination, and prejudice, praying for reconciliation and unity in the body of Christ. According to Ephesians 2, 14, we decree and declare healing over the brokenhearted and the downtrodden, knowing that God is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. According to Psalm 34, 18, we decree and declare healing over infertility and reproductive issues, trusting in the promises of God to bless and multiply his children. According to Psalm 127, 3, we decree and declare healing over the wounds of war and violence, praying for peace and restoration in war-torn regions of the world. According to Isaiah 2, 4, we decree and declare healing over the lost and the prodigals, praying for their salvation and return to the Father's house. According to Luke 15, 24, we decree and declare healing over addictions and strongholds, knowing that whom the Son sets free is free indeed. According to John 8, 36, we decree and declare healing over the broken systems and structures of society, praying for renewal and transformation. According to Romans 12, 2, we decree and declare healing over the wounds of betrayal and abandonment, trusting in the faithfulness of God to never leave us nor forsake us. Hebrews 13, 5, we decree and declare healing over the scars of past trauma and abuse, praying for restoration and renewal of the mind. According to Romans 12 2. We decree and declare healing over the broken dreams and shattered hopes, trusting in the plans and purposes that God has for our lives. According to Jeremiah 29 11, we decree and declare healing over the wounds of rejection and abandonment, knowing that we are accepted and beloved in the eyes of our Heavenly Father. According to Ephesians 1 6, we decree and declare healing over the cycles of poverty and lack, trusting in the abundance and provision of God's kingdom. According to Philippians 4 19, Father, we thank you for the authority and power you have given us to speak healing into every situation. As we decree and declare these prayer points in alignment with your word, we trust in your faithfulness to bring about miraculous healing and restoration according to your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.